Alright, so this is how you remove and get the PCB for the power board for the uh, base module 500 Bose subwoofer. You first have to take off these rubber feet right here and they reveal these... Oh, I guess there's two screws for this one right here and two screws for this one. And then on the top there's only one, only one. And then you have to hair dryer this label and that reveals two screws as well. So, go ahead. And then it looks like we can just, yeah, it looks like we can just take it off. <clears throat> so we want to pull it from this side. And then this is the power board. I'm going to unhook it from the power connector and unhook it from the speaker. And then we have all these screws to take apart. And yes, we do have to we do have to unscrew these screws, even though it does look like it's a part of the um, shield, but it is screwing in. It is screwing into the bottom. There you go. You just have one more ribbon connector for this wireless. Mod oh, two more, two more ribbon connectors for this wireless module boards for uh, pairing the subwoofer. So this would be actually the LED connector right here to show the LED and to reset it. And then this would be the software board from Bose. And then this is just the power board. 